everybody. We are standing on the gym floor here at the school. If you guys go back to the few videos, you guys will see the slab way in the beginning when we were doing the footings. 50 yards, it was a set 71 by 50, 50, somewhere around there, four inch. The slab will eventually have hardwood floors on it. This is the gym, so they'll have a basketball court, volleyball court on it. Uh, Four went well, we started at 7 a.m. We finished pouring out around 10 and we've actually put a finish on it around noon, I believe. So just working on that last section there on the cleanup. But guys, right now we're gonna begin uh, our control joints. Control, all concrete's gonna crack eventually. Control joints are, we're telling it where to crack. So the engineer specifies exactly where he wants those control joints so they know exactly where it's gonna crack, whether it's underneath the wall, a stud or anything like that. So, so it can be hidden. Um, people call them control joints, saw, saw joints. Basically, we're gonna cut this with a soft cutting machine, which the guys are unloading over there. The blades are special blades, diamond blades for uh, early entry cutting, for green, cutting green concrete, guys. So uh, all that goes, there's special machines that go into it to, to make sure uh, the concrete doesn't spall as we're cutting. So it's very important to know exactly when you're gonna cut it. You don't wanna to be too early where it will spall or you don't wanna to be too late where you're working in machines and you'll have to come back in here with different types of saws to get it. So guys, uh, we're gonna begin layout. All the layout is in the drawings, which you know we've been working on. So we'll begin snapping lines, chalk lines, and then the guys will bring down the machines and you, you guys will see soon what, what's gonna happen. most of the times these diamonds here are diamond block outs you guys can see there we have a column in there obviously they got to set the column in and then later on we're going to come back and backfill the diamond there we control it with the diamond here so we make sure our, our joints come off this diamond which to make sure the concrete is going to crack there also again another thing is uh, the rebar was cut every other bar just again to weaken that saw joint that that joint so make sure again to make sure it does crack there so if you guys saw the videos of when we were doing rebars you guys would see we had some bars missing in that area but that's that's the reason for it Last thing you want to do is snap lines with waterproof chalk. You'll never get it out. So this is level one, so it'll be gone here in a minute. Either the blue or the white one works. 